Detective Star. You're going to need it. Best of luck. Your time starts now. The hospital abbreviation ICU stands for Intensive Care Model. Unit. Unit. Correct. Of which country is the yen the official currency? Japan. China. Uh, Japan. In which Australian state is the Hammersley Range? West Australia. Pass. Western Australia. The play Speed the Plow was written by David Who? Kira. Pass. Mammoth. A species of reptile is the Asian giant soft shell what? Moon. Mm. Cattle. Correct. In which US sitcom does Tony Danza play a living housekeeper? Uh, who's the boss? Mm. Uh, pass. Who's the boss? Colloquially, to underestimate someone is to sell them what? Mm. Short. Short. Correct. Yes. To which continent are the Cree people indigenous? North America. South America. North America. How many coxages does the human body typically have? One. Two. Twelve. One. In which animated TV series is Hank Hill the main character? Mm. King of the Hill. Correct. Yes. Planet Jupiter mostly comprises which chemical element? Mm. Gas. Hydrogen. Mm. Who was the first billionaire to be elected U.S. president? Neil. Yeah. Trump. Correct. Yes. Which former Australian banknote depicts John MacArthur? Two dollars. Neil. Yeah. Twenty dollars. Two dollars. In which North American country is the Des Moines River? United States. U.S. Correct. Which controversial comedian was born Andrew Clay Silverstein? Neil. Pass. Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah. The UK's national flag is blue, red, and what other colour? White. Correct. Yes. In 2017, who won the Best Actress Oscar? Lily. Um. Uh. Pass. Emma Stone. In which Australian city is the Bicentennial Conservatory? Neil. Sydney. Adelaide. Which Australian NRL team is nicknamed the Dragons? St George. St George. Correct. The Yellow Sea is part of which ocean? Pacific. Neil. Atlantic. Pacific. What word means both an umpire and a person giving a reference? Referee. Neil. Referee. Correct. In which major religion are the Vaisya and Shudra castes? Hindu. Neil. Pass. Hinduism. Which Oasis band member wrote the hit Wonderwall? No Gallagher. No Gallagher. Um, team. Listen, 12 steps isn't too bad. Pushbacks to come. Goliath. There are a couple of passes there that could have been guesses. If you get an Australian state or a major religion, just name one. You could get lucky. Final chase. Mm, that's right. After these news headlines. Andrew, next, a deranged killer's caught outburst as a brave victim speaks out how your money was used to help cut a deal for cocaine Cassie. NAB reveals massive job cuts, the latest big names caught up in the Hollywood sex scandal, the suburbs where home buyers can still find a bargain, the hidden work on the Metro Tunnel project, new rewards for people who pay their bills on time, why shoppers stampeded a city store, not seen for 90 years, remarkable footage of Farlap, the Melbourne stars of Cirque du Soleil's new show. And it's staying cool and cloudy for the next two days. That includes Derby Day. The details at six. This news update brought to you by APA Insurance. Rewarding experience. Three dreams for three destinations. That's if all goes well yeah. now. There are 12 steps to defend. It will take pushbacks. Goliath, are you good to go? Yes, sir. It is time for the final chase. <laughs> Good luck. Matt, your time starts. Now, what letter is silent in the word knitting? K. Correct. Kiss is a 2012 album by singer Carly Rae who? Jepsen. Correct. The medulla oblongata is part of which major human organ? Brain. Correct. On which continent is the Mapocho River? Africa. Uh, Asia. Stop the clock. No. On which continent Africa is for the sure. Mapocho River? Oh, I want to say South America again. Uh. <laughs> I don't think I can. Yeah, go for it. African? Yeah. Africa? Africa. Okay, you're going for Africa? South America! Oh, for sure. So. <coughs> oh, boy. <laughs> twice in this game. Because he mispronounced it. South America. And the answer's been North America. The first time in South America, we go Africa. Ah! All right. Chase it eats nine. Better luck on the next one. And your time restarts. Now, which former Australian politician is the son of Sir Alec Downer? Uh, um, uh, um, Alexander Downer. Uh, Remember his first name? Pass! Stop the clock! Oh, Alexander. Wake up! Oh. Isn't it Alexander Downer? Oh, yeah. thank you. That hurt.
Uh, Alexander Downer. Alexander Downer? <laughs> Alexander Downer, well done. <laughs> oh, Maddie, I can feel that pain. Oh, chasing these 10. 1.28 on the clock. And your time restarts. Now, which AFL legend is colloquially referred to as Sheeds? Kevin oh, Sheeds. Yeah. Correct. In which European country are the cities of Argos and Patras? Greece. Greece. Correct. What nationality was the painter L.S. Lowry? Uh, American. Stop the clock. What nationality well, was the painter L.S. Lowry? Try Australian. Yeah. Maybe he's Irish. Australian. Yeah. English. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. British. British? I love the way you say that, Neil. Indeed he was. Well done. Mm. Second push back. Nice job. So it's 1.14 on the clock. And your time restarts. Now, used in Spanish cooking, bomba is a variety of which grain? Wheat. Um, rice. Correct. Yeah. In which Australian state is the suburb of Burley Heads? Qu Queensland. Um, Queensland. Correct. What is the predominant colour of the Zambian national flag? Um, green. Correct. For what music genre is singer Keith Urban best known? Country. Correct. Which author created the character Winnie the Pooh? A.A. Milne. Correct. Mm. A star of the 2014 film Fury is Shia Hu. Uh. Correct. Richard Preston's book The Hot Zone is mostly about what disease? Um, cancer. Dr. Quack. I Malaria? The answer I'm looking for is Ebola. Uh, yeah. Chasing these three. That's tropical as well. 32 on the clock. Matt, your time restarts. Now, what is the official language of Armenia? Armenian. Armenian. Correct. What Melbourne newspaper has Australia's highest circulation? The El Sun. Correct. In which sport is Sanza a governing body? Uh, rugby. Correct. Shit. Well done, he got you. Oh, no! Listen, team, admirable job, I have to say. It's Neil, Lily, Kira, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to say goodbye to that $25,000. You made it more difficult than it should have been. I thought Alexander Downer was done with annoying me, but I wasn't done. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to seeing you next time on The Chase Australia. Tonight, a vile rant as an evil killer is sentenced to extra time in prison. Taxpayers fork out tens of thousands of dollars to help secure a deal for cocaine Cassie. 6,000 jobs to go despite NAB unveiling a $6 billion profit. Boone's arrested for putting lives at risk in Melbourne's northwest. Dustin Hoffman accused as the Hollywood sex scandal widens and rare footage found of the legendary Farlap. Live from our Melbourne headquarters, this is 7 News with Peter Mitchell. Good evening. Sadistic murderer and rapist Sean Price has unleashed a foul tirade at a judge in his final court appearance. The deranged killer will now spend a minimum of 41 years behind bars after his sentence was increased for raping a woman days after he killed Marcia Vukatic. Sean Price told the judge he wanted to address the courtroom. When she refused, the unhinged murderer unleashed. The 33-year-old simulated sexual acts yeah. and swore at Judge Sexton, who quickly cut his video link. And although he tried to be the strongest voice in the room during his sentencing, he wasn't. Those words came from the judge as she addressed his rape victim. She has shown incredible bravery and strength, and she is to be commended for the dignified way she has conducted herself in court. Price was sentenced to an extra three years after he breached his supervision order by raping the woman two days after murdering Marcia Vukatic. His victim had been present for every hearing. She praised the government for strengthening laws around sex offenders. In the future, people like Sean will be noticed and receive treatment that could potentially reduce further risk. Since he was 19 years old, Price has spent just 15 months as a free man. The rest of the time, he's been in hospital or jail, away from the community. And as he finally vanishes from the court system to serve his life sentence, his victim says she will now start living again. In time, 
I may have more to say for now. I'm just glad that it's over. Chanel Vella, 7 News. Australian drug mule Cassie Sainsbury has been jailed for six years after admitting she tried to smuggle cocaine out of Colombia. And Seven News can reveal her crimes have come at a cost to taxpayers, with more than $100,000 spent funding her legal team. Good grief. Running the gauntlet to court, about... this time with certainty. How are you feeling about Sandra Sainsbury knew how her appearance would play out. A deal on jail time had already been negotiated. This plea bar bargain was uh, author given to her just as a result that she was under threats in order to proceed with what she did. The judge signed off on a six-year prison deal for Cassandra Sainsbury's confession to trying to smuggle six kilograms of cocaine out of Bogota in April. Sainsbury could be free in two and a half years if she behaves and works behind bars. She must also pay a fine of $130,000. Is she lucky to get a deal like this? Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a lucky uh, amount of the drugs is uh, very big. The Australian government won't pay for Sainsbury's fine, but Seven News can reveal the first round of taxpayer dollars was sent to her Colombian lawyer in the past fortnight. The bill for five months' worth of help, now over $100,000. Her legal team in Colombia maintains she deserves help from her countrymen. These people are just kind of victims of bigger criminals. Give me a break. A convicted drug smuggler who's escaped decades in jail thanks in part to the Australian public's help. In Bogota, Colombia, Ashley Malini, Seven News. Police are stepping up their blitz on hoons holding street races in the northwestern suburbs. Dean Felton is at police headquarters this evening and Dean officers are determined to take both the hoons and their cars off the road. Yes, that's right, Mitch. Until now, Task Force Effector has been concentrating on covert operations, finding out when and where these meets were on and who was turning up to them. Now, though, the real clean-up has begun, and police say it's those who are thought to be organising the meets that they're targeting. Two men from Carolyn Springs, both in their 20s, arrested this morning. It follows the earlier arrest of a man at his home in Greensboro. He's facing a charge of reckless conduct endangering life. That carries up to 10 years jail. Uh, police say they're simply not prepared to put up with hoons endangering their own lives as well as the lives of others. It's a uh, mob element fueled by adrenaline. And we're concerned that um, people are going to be seriously injured or worse if this continues. Now, so far, ten people have been charged and seven cars have been seized. Those cars will be permanently confiscated and then crushed. And police say there are more arrests to come. Mitch. Thanks, Dean. A Perth man will be extradited to Melbourne over the cold case murder of a Cambodian woman 30 years ago. Rani Yun was found dead in her Springvale home in October 1987. She had been a member of the infamous Pol Pot regime and police investigated whether her death was a revenge attack. It's Illegal set. gambling and loan sharking were also possible motives. The 49-year-old man was charged after the case was reviewed. Thousands of Victorian jobs could be under threat as the National Australia Bank undergoes a savage round of cuts. 6,000 positions will be...